Yeah, so what do I do with my time now? You know, the computer has automated some of my tasks. You know, four decks. Four takes, takes a lot of time to manage. And uh, you can't just put four of your favorite songs on. That's going to turn into one of your most unfavorite songs very quickly. You, so, you, you know, you really have to start thinking about what I'm playing and where I'm going, how I'm going to get there, how I can layer loops again, how I can bring possibly just bass lines together. You know, it's, it's really changed the, the, the way I've, I've been playing because, you know, in the past I would get a lot of things sent to me, demos or, you know, Mark Hu would send me a, a bed track, hey, this is, is this, what do you think of this idea? But I can actually use that material now. You know, material that may not be ready to be played by itself, but could be a perfect transition or a perfect baseline to someone else's hi-hats. So that's what the beauty of Ford Dex you know, means to me. And that's why you know, I have to allow the computer to do something so I can really focus my attention on that. You know, one of the other you know, super important things of what we're doing now is if I change to this page here, this is my, my, uh, my clock, which is the, the tempo for how everything's working with my effects and the timing of the records. But there's a really important button here, which I can turn on and off with my key here, which is send. And uh, at the contact shows, this button is actually sending over ethernet to all the other guys' computers, Mark Hool's uh, computer, Geyser's computer, Jesse Hartrub's computer, and I can stop and start their computers on the fly of their live shows. So when you see us all up there, this main tractor computer is basically the, the, the heart of the whole setup. It's the timing, the clock. And uh, that allows us to do this type of collaborative experience. That timing code is going over the ethernet, keeping all those guys in time. And then the context show gets, it gets even more complicated because we have our four decks, then we have Mark's music coming through a channel, Geyser's music, you know, Jesse's music, plus an extra four channels of effects. All that in time. Sorry, I can't try to keep time of all that shit. Forget it. You gotta let technology do what it does best on that situation. And then it comes to us to be really creative about when we're bringing up things, how we're moving from one live show to another, how we're bringing two live shows together, or how we're overlaying live shows to records. You know, that's, that's the heart of you know, why I'm using this, what this allows us to do. And in, in a way, it's given us the opportunity as artists, you know, uh, especially the Minus Gang, to do uh, a show that we could have never really done you know, a couple of years ago. Well, we could have, but it w would have been a little bit hard, you know what I mean? So it's, it's really, you know, again, what technology means, you know, for me, it's like it allows an artist to become, uh, or, you know, delve into a different area of creativity and hopefully come up with something that wasn't possible before.